All right, YouTube, this is Bazuntu. I don't normally do commentary videos, but I figured this time I'd give it a shot. I just got the remote play for PC. I was one of the lucky few that got it, the alpha. And I'm testing it out now to show my review of it, I guess. So first I'm gonna launch it under my second account. And set it up for my, it set up for my second account so I could play with my PS4 controller on my first account, my main account. So after it's, it's already set up, I'm gonna open it. Eventually it'll open. And now right here you put in your PS4 IP or scan and search. If you're having problems and this box right here is too small, then you have your your DPI setting set too high. So you'll that you'd have to include sub. Just right click on your desktop, select display settings. And right here, where it says change the size of the text of the app, you want to move it, make sure it's on 100%. You want to click apply, it'll tell you to log out. Then when you log back in, it'll be all set and you'll be able to put the numbers and see the numbers in the box quite well. I've already done that. Uh, relaunch. And I'll just push search and connect. And double click the top to make it almost full screen. And as you see in the, the TV on the background, it's already running and pretty damn near close to actually, well, see a little bit of pixelation. There's hardly any lag at all. I tried earlier. It's set on 30 frames per second right now because I tried earlier on 60 frames and that it was just way too much lag. It was like 30 second delay. But with 30 frames per second, it's pretty, pretty good. I tried playing earlier on Call of Duty, but it was a little too fast and I guess I'm not used to 30 frames per second because uh, I was getting tore up. But you can see everything is pretty much dead on accurate. There's virtually no delay. So the app's pretty good. I uh, I expect a lot more to be going out pretty soon. And uh, I guess also I'll have to show you. So. Zoom in. Thanks for watching.